I now want to introduce you to kind of the largest and most expensive instrument in our lab that we spend a lot of time working on. And that is a thermo Neptune multi-collector inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer. Uh, so this one is old, but it's been well maintained. And the kinds of things you'd want to do that on this, it's really optimized for measuring isotope ratios. So like the quadrupole, we can measure a whole suite across the periodic table. You don't want to do that with this. This is really good for measuring very small differences in isotope ratios. The kinds of applications you might want to run are, we do a lot with looking at uh, isotope ratios in rocks. So we use molybdenum and iron and uranium, naturally occurring isotopes in rocks to understand what the marine environment in the early earth was like. We can also measure lots of radiogenic isotopes. So these are both for dating how old rocks are and anthropologists use these all the time to understand something about the mobility by looking at the strontium and lead isotopes in the teeth of ancient peoples. So before an, a sample comes here, we have to do a lot of sample prep to get it ready because we need to purify out just that element of interest. So we have got a lot of validated methods in different sample types to do that. But depending on the project, that it may also require method validation. Finally, another application is some of studies in, in humans, in biomedical studies. So we've been working on calcium isotopes, naturally occurring in urine and blood as an indicator of how much bone you're either forming or resorbing. So we've done studies in astronauts. And so you can see in the front end is actually much like the quadrupole, is we actually have a probe that goes into a tube, goes in through a nebulizer, and then goes in through the ICP into the instrument. So the real difference though with the quadrupole is in the detector. In addition, this is a mass sector instrument. So that means it has a very large magnet which separates the ion beams by mass and spreads them out a little bit. We then have nine detectors at the other end so we can detect nine ion beams simultaneously. Quadrupole instruments always measure ion beams sequentially. So they measure lithium-7, lithium-8, and then beryllium, and then boron, and so on. This is gonna measure isotope ratios by measuring those nine ion beams simultaneously. So what this means is you can get much, much greater precision with this instrument compared to others. So a quadrupole might be limited to, say, to the second decimal place or the third decimal place uh, precision on strontium isotopes, whereas this instrument can go to the fifth decimal place or sixth decimal place. 